All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the complementary supplementary angles um, when you're given a angle in as a radian. Um, a quick little review. Remember, complementary angles are two angles that have to 90 degrees, or if I say this is 0 and 2 pi, this is pi, half of that is pi over 2, which is also 90 degrees. And that's 180 degrees. We know that's 360. So, and supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees, or pi, as we're now learning. So, if I want to find the complement, I'm going to first write an equation. I know that this angle plus its complement has to equal 90 degrees, which we're now using pi over 2 since this is in radians. So, pi over 4 plus x equals pi over 2, which we look at this and we say, all right, subtract pi over 4 on both sides. Therefore, we get x equals pi over 2 minus pi over 4. And the big mistake that students get with this is literally doing their fractions from algebra 1. Remember, these do not have the same common denominator. So to get this common denominator, I have to multiply by 2 over 2 on the top. So we get x equals 2 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which that equals, that ends up giving me 1 fourth. To find the supplement, it's the exact same thing, but it's one angle plus another angle gives me 180 degrees, or it's pi now we're referring to. So pi over 4 plus x equals pi. Again, subtract to 1 fourth on both sides. So therefore, my angle equals x equals pi minus pi over 4. Again, I do not have a denominator for here. I'm going to make my denominator 1. Multiply by 4 over 4. So x equals 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. x equals 3 pi over 4. So that is how you find the complement and supplement uh, angle when given an angle in radians.